What about mouthwashes? Yeah. Um, I've never liked them. Um, they feel, they burn mm -hmm. for one. And then I learned some years ago, and this is just kind of fun to cue to, years ago, it must have been like eight, 10 years ago, I heard, I think on the Tim Ferriss podcast, somebody said, oh, you know, uh, mouthwashes will nuke certain chemicals that are essential for cardiovascular function. And so don't, don't use them. Don't use min mouth strips. Don't use any of that stuff. And at that time that was considered like clear, quote unquote, pseudoscience. Yeah. Nobody like outrageous. alternative science, outrageous. Sure. Now we know yeah. <laughs> this is actually true. And yeah. this always, you know, this always um, delights me and scares me at the same time that many of the things that right now people go, oh, that's pseudoscience. I like creatine seems to be a big thing right now. 10 years ago, it was only sure. the, the gym gym rats yeah. that we're talking about. Now everyone's like creatine, creatine. Everybody needs it. So uh, what's the story on on mouthwashes and mouth strips and mm -hmm. mints and things of that sort that, yeah. again, like people just want to have fresh breath or at least they don't want to be the person with the bad breath? Sure. Yeah. So Listerine and those stronger rinses in particular, uh, they generally contain alcohol, astringents, really strong antimicrobials. You know, it says kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Well, I think we've learned we're over disinfecting. You know, this is why asthma is up, eczema, allergies are up in our children. We now are saying get into the dirt get, you know, get exposed to microbes and things. Um, so we're carpet bombing the mouth. What we've learned through the, the data, and you're right, there are studies to show that chronic habitual use of these uh, mouthwashes, including prescription strength mouthwash, like chlorhexidine is a common one. It can damage the uh, nitrate reducing bacteria. So we have bacteria in the dorsum of our tongue specifically, that is essentially your tongue that reduces nitrate to nitrite, which is a precursor to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a molecule that is really important for cardiovascular health and vasodilation and immune health. Um, so if we're indiscriminately carpet bombing the mouth with these really strong astringents and rinses, we can be affecting our cardiovascular health. And there are studies to show it can increase blood pressure and, and potentially cause cardiovascular issues. So when I hear someone say, but my breath is so bad, you know, I have to use this multiple times a day, I immediately think, well, gosh, why is your breath so bad? It's normal to have bad breath after you eat a garlic, you know, garlic hummus or have a cup of coffee. But if it's chronic halitosis or bad breath, I'm curious, do you have periodontal disease, which is a chronic inflammatory um, issue in the mouth, which can have a slew of downstream effects, which we should discuss um, in a bit. Um, or do you have an infection? It could be a sinus infection, post-nasal drip. Do you have tonsil stones or tonsillar infect infection? Like what else is going on in your mouth where you feel you need this multiple times a day to even feel like you can present yourself in public. Um, really strong essential oils and mints. Again, I, I would be cautious with that. Every once in a while, throwing in a piece of gum or a mint, of course. Um, it's really the habitual use of these things that can be damaging.